That was a great segment with Will Manso. We will yes. obviously have to have Giselle on this week to respond to uh, allegations. I think that uh, that that fart thing. Uh, will might be in trouble. I text him. That's not. That's not. That's like. Come on, man. And so I'm saying you like. I I had to make a conscious decision. I, I'm going down a path here. I'm not going to be able to uphold this illusion Bizarre. of me being, you know, some sort of Greek god who mm-hmm. does not pass gas and is only, you know, practically eye candy. I said at some point I'm I'm going to have to show her what I look like, you know, when the hair is not perfectly quaffed and the uh, stomach uh, gets the green light. To, uh, <laughs> if you're eye candy, you're black licorice. <laughs> I use the term eye and candy loosely. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I thought about it. We were out of time. I, so I was going to bring it up later. It actually happened this morning. I had to wake up and go shoot, shoot the pivot episode. So I get up early. And as y'all know, I am a very open and proud member of the IBS community. Yeah. So I want to let you know, if I eat turkey legs and corn dogs all day, the next morning is about to be rough. You're up in Orlando, so it's turkey legs and corn dogs. And this turkey leg thing is the dumbest thing in the world. Dried out ass smoked turkey legs. I'm like, why would you buy one? My son wanted one, so we shared it. And it ruined, it ruined my stomach. I wake up this morning. I had to be I had to be at the WWE facilities at 7:45. So I had to wake up at like 6:30. We didn't go to bed till midnight. I wake up, I'm sneaking around the bedroom. I'm trying to get dressed. I'm trying not to wake up, you know, the kids in Asia. I creep in the bathroom. Asia is in REM sleep. I'm talking to REM eyes rolling in the back of her head sleep. I open the bathroom door. She says, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, I'm, I got to go to the bathroom real quick. Go in the lobby. And so to your point, like, now it's, a, it's the spin of it where now I can't even go to the bathroom in a hotel room that I'm paying a lot of money for because she knows if I do go in this bathroom right now, it's going to ruin everybody's morning. I have that policy in my house. I'm glad she upholds that policy. But I used to, when we would go to a hotel, I would tell Lori and David, listen, if it's really a significant visit, go to the lobby. Because whatever goes on down there, that's not our business. (laughs) But (laughs) her name is Lauren. She's the manager. And every time, because we did the virtual key thing, so they never saw Asia or the kids. So the only time any of these employees have seen me in the lobby is I walk straight in and go to the bathroom. So now, A, the big black dude just comes in here and blows up the right. bathroom. Like, right. I don't want to be, I like, yeah, I like right. people, you know, I like to glad hand, but now I'm just the, the big black doo-doo guy and I don't want to be that. And I told Asia and she doesn't care. The new building that we're moving into, I just found the other day, I had to stop by there and there are bathrooms in the lobby but you figure out eh, like, I walk in, it's like Trump Palace. I mean, it's like it's the nicest public restroom. You know, it's just one separate restroom in the like because it's not it's only for residents. There's one women's one men's. And I said to DJ was in town this weekend and he hadn't seen the new apartment yet. And I brought him over there and I said, listen, got to tell you, the new apartment has three bathrooms. I said, listen. You ever have to do serious business? Right down here in the lobby, the nicest bathroom that you'll ever have, and we we get we get to completely absolve ourselves of anything that goes on in this bathroom because it's a public <laughs> restroom. That's a great move. I'm oh, with okay. Asia on that one. What about when there's a bathroom attendant? That's when that's the only time I really really feel funny. Yeah, that you can't. I mean, you have to be in some sort of bad way if if because and that guy he can't leave. Yeah, like it's just I mean, want to talk about torture. The guy can't leave. His job is literally to be there to hand you a towel when you're done. And if he misses out on that opportunity, he has completely disregarded his job. He's got to stay there. 
And it's terrible. right there. And just, just we're going to together. Not many places have the bathroom attendant anymore. It's really strip clubs, which is a weird thing to hold over from bygone no, era. Those, um, those high class restaurants do. Yeah. Yeah. Those, I guess so. With the cologne. Yeah. Yeah, the um, what is it like, sexy fish and gecko and all these Burn restaurants? Steakhouse. Yeah, Asia drags me to these restaurants, and I walk in. I just ate octopus and seventeen oysters. Like, hey, buddy, sorry, I'll tip him like forty dollars, but it's like, hey, I just ate right. seventeen oysters, big man. Like, it's, right. it's over for you. You, uh, you want to go on one of your breaks? You smoke. <laughs> Time for you to take a smoke break. <laughs> I don't smoke. I got a cigarette if you need one. I just need you out of here. Ay vey. <laughs> anyway, covered a lot of ground there. I mean, a lot of ground with Will, and I think we've all learned something. What? I have no idea. <laughs> Solana's single. Should be by the end of the show. I don't pass gas. Oh, Jesus Christ. Well, I will tell you, as you get older, it becomes a much bigger part of your life because yeah. your organs are slowing down. Hmm. Oh, Solana, it's going to be something you eat. Like if you're going to eat a one grape, as soon as you swallow mm -hmm. it, boom. Mm -hmm. Bro, my insides are solid as a rock and I'm very regulated. You guys know this. We've had this issue before where during COVID especially, you guys would want to tape at 1 p.m. Sorry, Jack. I'm in the bathroom at 1 p.m. every single like day. Clockwork. Every single day. I mean, I I am reg I, I I have a clock, and it never wavers. I, but I I I got to push back. Didn't you go to the bathroom on yourself at the studio? Mm, that is a good <laughs> point. Yeah, yeah, that's a fair point. Jimmy, what about you? Are you regular? Yeah, I I I go to the bathroom every day. All right, I'm just checking. You have a good uh. You, you, you like a brand or something? What do you do? How do you keep yourself regular? I just eat and whatever comes just a out. Good comes system. Out. You got a good system. Hmm. Yeah. And you know me. I like the uh, Miralax, the stool softeners. I really like to mm. tip the hand in my favor. I, yeah. Didn't, didn't they used to call you Metamucil Mark? Oh, oftentimes <laughs> they did. That was actually my rap name. <laughs> When you say tip it in your favor, you're in com competition. I just want to make sure that everything is working in my favor. And if that <laughs> means softening things up a little bit and loosening things up a little bit, I'm all for it. All right, listen, <laughs> do, do give you me ever vaccines, do you ever give me stool softeners. I don't care. I'll take do it all. Do you ever lose? Oh, I lose. <laughs> I lose. <laughs> Oh, do I lose? <laughs> <laughs> you batting about seven hundred? Yeah, yeah. 